Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the February Birch Box. Um, technically the unboxing has already started. My camera died and then I forgot to hit record for opening up the box. So it's already been um, dug into just a little bit, but I still have the box right here. For those who don't know, Birch Box is $10 a month and you receive five sample size items. They're usually teeny tiny little samples, but there are usually some, you know, fun things to try, so I'm still excited about getting it. What can I say? Uh, so for February, we have this lovely little heart-shaped box. I'm kind of excited just for the box so I can repurpose it. It's very cute. Okay, digging into this. Gosh, I hope it's recording this time. Uh, this is the card for the February Birch Box. It has the items in the box on the back, but I'm not going to take a look at that to save a little of the surprise. And then right on top, we have some hydrating collagen eye pads. Um, yeah, it feels like there's just one set, which is, you know, par for the course with the Birch Box. Um, I've been getting a lot of different eye pads in different subscription boxes, and I am not disappointed at all. Even the ones I don't like very much are still a nice, relaxing, you know, 10, 15 minutes. So I will definitely be checking these out. Then we have... Uh, from Benefit, their Gimme Brow Plus. It is a fiber gel for your eyebrows. Um, yeah, it says it volumizes, tames, and tints. I could definitely use a little bit of that. They do have the cutest little packaging on Benefit stuff. Um, and then here is the actual sample. It is itty bitty. And then here is the brush. Um, you can see it looks kind of dark. It um, does not seem to have a shade on the box or on the sample. And it does look kind of dark. I wonder if this does come in a range of shades. It might even be too dark for me. Okay, that is the color. It is a pretty dark brown. Uh, then the next thing we have is from Marcel. It is their 24-hour anti-pollution day and night moisturizing emulsion. Okay, it's not terribly full, either by feel or by holding it up to the light, but it does look like you can get a couple uses out of it. It is at least not a foil packet worth. Uh, it is completely unscented. It smells like literally nothing. But the feel is very nice and soft. It has uh, rubbed into my fingers pretty much completely, but it still feels very silky. So I, um, I will definitely be using this one up. Next we have, ooh, uh, this is from Stilla. It is a sample of the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and that is a wild color. So it's got the little Dofa applicator. Uh, that is um, that is a wild color. I kind of like it. Um, I mean, I don't shy away from bright, but I usually go for bright and a little more traditional. This is the um, Mac Ruby Woo, so usually my bright is very mainstream, but um, I think I might wear that. I mean, obviously not to the office, but that could be a fun, kicking around, casual kind of look. Uh, it did go on very smoothly. It feels really nice. It's, um, I kind of globbed it on for the swatch, but it is drawing down nice and evenly. It's not doing a lot of settling into the lines on my hand either, which is a lot rougher than my lips. So I definitely think I'm going to give this a couple wears and I do like the uh, Stay All Day lipstick from Stilla. So I'm not complaining about this, um, but I'm kind of glad I have this in a little sample size instead of a great big tube because 
it's out there. And our last item is from We Way. I, I'm never sure how that's pronounced. Hair care. It is a leave-in conditioner. And shockingly, it seems to be a leave-in conditioner that does not have almond oil or anything like that. So I am going to be making, you know, a good use out of this. Um, despite the bad hair day, I usually do try to do something with my hair. It smells, um... I want to say it smells like conditioner. I think it smells very similar to most of the products I use now. It's a very, um outdoorsy scent with a light floral so I wouldn't even mind if um, the scent stuck around since it is a leave-in conditioner I will definitely be trying this and seeing if I enjoy it so those are the samples in the February birch box I'm pretty happy with what I got I'm definitely going to be making some use of my products um, some with a little more excitement than others. I think that uh, brow gel is just going to be a little too dark for my brows, but I will give it a try. I will, I enjoy something that will make my brows look a little better. They are not my best um, facial part. And um, yeah, the lip color is growing on me. Actually, I am going to grab a makeup wipe and try that on and see what it looks like. I will be right back. Okay, for starters, I made a total hash of the application and got it all over the place and I could not figure out why except there was a little dried clump that was smearing it all over. So first I had to clean up the applicator. Um, so my makeup has, you know, some purple streaks around the lips because I didn't really want to take off my whole face to fix it. Um, so excuse my laziness. It has dried down very nicely as these uh, liquid lipsticks um, do. It is really dark compared to the swatch. Uh, this is one coat. Uh, it does have nice coverage of um, the waterline inside my mouth. It has not come off on my teeth, which is shocking for a color this dark. So I really enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure what kind of makeup look I could wear it with, but I can see myself wearing it. So, again, I'm not upset about it, but it is an out there color. So, having said that, that is all I have from Birchbox today. If you want to see my next unboxing, hit subscribe and come back and see me.